Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. For this particular footage, I'll introduce one creature and two characters. And just so you guys know, I'm sorry if there's some confusion with previous videos. It's just, I'm just doing it alphabetically because that's what you guys voted on and such, and I just have to go with it. The first one that I'm going to introduce is a creature. A biological hybrid between an octopus and a quetzalcoatlus, which is like a pterodactyl, but bigger. Here it is, and hope you guys could bear with me as I read this to you. Octoquadalus. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 45 feet. Weight, 32 tons. Status, villain, and creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Savage, destructive, and sneaky. It's always willing to find food. Lethality. Only when craving or during a fight. Weaknesses. Explosions, electricity, and amputations. Powers. It has the head and six tentacles of an octopus, the body of a Quetzalcoatlus, and two tentacles connected into a tail. It possesses all the powers of both organisms. It also possesses a long jagged spear on the end of each tentacle. Eyes light gray, hair none. Origin. One time, Dr. Scream decided she should create a new horror that's simply a cross between an octopus and a Quetzalcoatlus. After being named Octoquatlus, it was commanded by its creator to attack people in the beaches of Los Angeles. Eventually, the Octoquatlus was confronted by a nearby sand rex and was eventually killed by it. Upset of this, Dr. Shrink Green decided to revive the Octoquatlus for future objectives. Costume, none. Teams, solitary, for Dr. Scream and other creatures. Order and Inspiration, Octopi and Quetzalcoatli. The next one is a character that I hope you guys would have an understanding about and such. Just bear with me. Pandora. Real name, Patricia Doom. Height, 5 feet 10.5 inches. Weight, 151 pounds. Status, villain and younger sister of Ragnarok. Base, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, Willful, Destructive, and Snarky. She enjoys making things worse. Lethality, Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, She has no healing factor. Powers, She has access to her Doom Box, an ancient artifact that when open can summon unthinkable destruction in all directions but only as long as it's open. It's also designed to track down Pandora to avoid isolation. Eyes, light green. Hair, blondish brown, short and wavy. Origin. Patricia Doom was an average woman who learned that her older sister became the notorious Ragnarok and would since try to help her out. After a time of planning, Patricia was transported by the villainous Voodoo to her mountainous tomb, where Voodoo revealed to her that she was a descendant of the legendary Pandora, and was granted her and granted her with the Doom Box, which was preserved after countless generations. Naming herself Pandora, she went back to the Alpha Earth to destroy Quantum. And she almost defeated Quantum if not for her to get trapped in her own Doom Box leaving her stuck alongside the concept of hope in a void filled with Lovecraftian torment. Eventually, the tyrant Olga and the radioactive Ragnarok learned of this and released Pandora from her unintended containment. Since then, Pandora would spend part of her time helping Olga with her plans to destroy Quantum. Costume. She simply wears nothing official. Teams. Solitary, with Olga and other villains. Original inspiration, Pandora's Box of Greek Mythology. This here is another character, the last one in the video, 
that is a very unique individual, I have to say, and I hope you guys could bear with me. Quagga. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 7 inches. Weight, 362 pounds. Status, hero, and queen of the warped. Base, the warped. Mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, cunning, weird, and somewhat confusing. She never really cares about what others would think about her. Lethality, highly deadly, but rather more unexpected. Weaknesses, she has a hard time being trusted by others. Powers, she has sharp hooves, great speed, magnetism, hypnosis, illusion casting, can camouflage herself, can alter reality, and could clone herself into a total of 30 duplicates. She can also summon her warped armies to help her. Eyes, black and white. Hair, black and white and flowing. Origin. One time, Pym and the Master decided to create an unnatural being to help deal with chaos. After days of hard work, they instead summoned a weird creature that appeared to be a female centaurian that's a zebra in the front and a brown horse in the back. She then explained that she is Quagga, the queen of a dimension that's out of proportion and overly exaggerated, locally known as the Warped. Soon, she came to help the Hoof Heroes with a struggle with another tantrum from General Carnage, and after a while of fighting, Quagga had transported General Carnage through a one-way portal to the Warped. Since then, Quagga was hired by Centaur to become a new member of the Hoof Heroes, despite that Carnage had eventually traveled back to our reality through the power of Vortex, the evil counterpart of Portal. Costume. She wears a black and white top that blends with her. Teams. Solitary with the Hoof Heroes and other heroes. Original inspiration, the absence of logic. Well, I hope you guys like those three things I've introduced, and I hope it's not an issue for you guys and such. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the, the month, rest of the school year, especially since my youngest brother's graduating this month, legitimately. I hope you guys have a fine time, and um, hope you have a fine summer and such. Until next time, in transmission.